सो हाई व्यूअर्स हियर वी आर एट वन ऑफ द यूनिक हाउस दैट्स कनेडियन वुड विला एंड गेस वॉट आई हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस विथ मी टूडे एंड दैट्स मीर उस्मान अली खान साहब एंड ही इज द मैनेजिंग डिरेक्टर ऑफ मैक सस्टेनेबल डेवलपर्स आव व्यूज वुड बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू नो लाइक यू नो हाउ दिस इंटायर यू नो ड्रीम कमिंग ट्रू दैट्स समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग I'm very involved in sustainability. Uh you know I research it online and one day I came upon an article that talked about what's the new biggest thing in sustainable construction that is wood. And uh, I think it was uh an article by the Economist magazine and it opened my eyes on how bad the construction industry is right now and what are the st- steps being taken abroad you know in ca- Europe Japan Canada uh the world over to change that to to become more sustainable you know the way it was talked about w- was how electric cars are talked about as compared to your normal conventional gas powered cars um so when i looked into it um coincidentally two weeks later i was visited by canadian wood um which is a crown agency of the british columbia of uh which is a state in canada and they told me they do wood houses um uh, they promote wood housing in china india and v- vietnam wood in general but housing was a part of it so i took this as an opportunity to bring this to india because i had never seen or heard of anything of the sort here and in partnership with them we first visited canada to see and understand uh what they do over there um we saw we went to multiple cities to see the different types of technologies their mills their carpentry and how they do houses and then just to understand and to convince ourselves if this is right and viable in india and then after seeing that we decided okay this is what we need to do here and uh, this is a pilot project which is just introduces this type of housing to india uh when people think of wood they think you know of old technology they think the old way of building with wood what you see in kerala these days um but this is not what we have done we have brought the 21st century version of wood to india which is called mass timber mass timber is a relatively new technique of engineering wood um so engineered wood has has many classifications you know and mass timber is specifically uh, referring to the construction category and this type of wood um is specially manufactured uh by engineers uh, and designed by engineers to be able to build as tall as any concrete building um uh in terms of strength it's comparable to steel and in terms of weight it weighs only 20% of what concrete would weigh so um you know it's just this amazing new wonder material and it, it's mass timber is not normal wood because it is it's engineered it just gives this great new strength um uh for example of where it has been used uh Google and Microsoft are bi- building entire new campuses and their new campuses are made entirely of mass timber uh 2020 olympics uh, tokyo uh, a lot of their stadiums and their main stadium was m- constructed entirely out of mass timber so you can build structures that you normally would not be able to build in wood which is why this is a 21st century uh you know a uh, product um research is being ta- taken up by cambridge and a university and university of british columbia in canada where they're trying to make it even better uh, researching new types of laminating techniques g- uh bonding on a cellular level they're they're doing a lot of research to be able to make this more and more viable um right now the tallest building is around 28 floors which is in wisconsin which just that record was broken in 2022 before that was 22 floors every year there's a new tallest building in wood and there are plans to build uh, buildings that are 350 meters tall in london and in tokyo uh these buildings will be up to 80 or 70 floors so this was impossible in wood before which is why the world in the 20th century start using concrete and steel and which is uh 
now possible in wood so we're shifting back to wood as to why wood over concrete so when a tree grows it takes carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and the structure of the tree the log or whatever it actually traps the carbon inside that the body of the tree is the carbon dioxide that has been taken out of the atmosphere so wood is carbon negative whereas concrete is responsible for 11 percent of of global carbon emissions and uh, it's very very carbon intensive is very bad for the environment uh, also concrete relies heavily on sand and water which are increasingly scarce resources so sand is already very scarce we're in fact importing it in india we're importing it from countries like malaysia we don't even have a local uh, supply anymore we have entire you know uh, gangs and uh, mafias illegally ma mining sand studies have shown that uh, mining sand causes rivers to become acidic and r r uh, river life suffers communities that rely on these uh, you know rivers ponds lakes they suffer and oh, it causes flooding it causes uh, you know um, soil erosion land erosion it harms farmers and uh, it's very very bad for the environment as for water you know water is already a scarce resource in india and in the summer you have to spend thousands and thousands of rupees on getting tankers and stuff uh, and then the construction industry it just boggles my mind where you know people are using an essential resource like water uh, to just cure the concrete buildings you would you need hundreds of lakhs of liters to cure these mega projects that are coming up in concrete um, as and you know water is something that is so essential uh, it's something you cannot survive without um, you know you don't have uh, electricity you can uh, you know get a generator or something you don't have water you have to leave the city if you, the city runs out of water you're to grow your food your agriculture also you need a lot of water and it's india has you know uh, 1.4 billion people and we have way little water which is already being so polluted uh, in we can't provide for our citizens and we have all these industries just wasting it uh, wood on the other hand is a completely dry construction you don't need any water to you know cure it or grow it it's completely dry um, it's in a sort of way you can prefabricate the structure and then just put it up on site um, that allows it to be extremely quick as well for example this house uh, was built in 10 months by Canadian standards that's actually very very slow but by Indian standards if I were to build the same exact house in concrete it would take three years so um, where is three years where is 10 months you save a lot of time again if this house was being built in canada it would be run within three to four months yeah so they have the skilled labor there we don't have that here a lot of the time went into training people and a lot of the time went into teaching uh, the local um, you know laborers and the carpenters on how to work with the wood how to be more efficient um it took time teaching not only the people working with the wood but even like the plastering and the gypsum which normally we do use here but the technique is different so we had to work a extra time and all that to teach them i'm sure if we do this project again it wouldn't take so long thank you so very much mirus marani khan sir thank you once again